Hello and welcome back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and we're very glad that you're joining us again today. Today we are on location in Stinson Beach by a beautiful lagoon, interviewing a very special man, A.C. Diamond, who actually resides in Prescott, Arizona, but happens to be here in Marin County, and I'm very glad we had a chance to meet here because A.C. is doing some really ex exciting work with natural facelifts and today I will start to say I had an experience of it and uh, I don't know what you can tell but mm -hmm. I was able to tell from one session that there was a difference already in my face so AC I want to welcome you to the show well thank you Mitchell. it's really a pleasure to have you thank you very much yes, Appreciate it. exactly now how is it if you would please tell the audience that you got into this in the first place well um I was a hairdresser, makeup artist for years, mm. and um, one day, just in my own personal involvement and moving forward, that sort of thing, and finding out more about myself, uh, one day I just discovered that I was a healer, or really ran healing energy. I called mm -hmm. it a healer at that particular time. Yes. And um, so that's kind of where my life led, and this uh, actual facelift technique kind of satisfies the healing part or the energy part of me and also the aesthetic uh, yeah making people look better that right sort of thing. right it's taking healing and lifting it up to its true artistic nature right in a sense what I'd say about healing is I realized a long time ago that I didn't heal anyone that I really was assisting them in healing themselves and the true healing energy was within the individual not really from me the energy yeah. that came through me just helped amplify their own. Okay, so it's not like your energy is being transferred to them. No, or it's really yours amplifying is their own. Amplifying, exactly. maybe right. perhaps liberating theirs in a way. Right. Interesting. It's kind of interesting too that so many healers are around in all different types of healing methods. One of the things they notice is when people kind of really get what they're doing, their face lifts up. You know? <laughs> yes. And they look it's younger. uplifting. You're right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so what I'm able to do is make permanent changes in that. Permanent? Now, could permanent. you just make a comment about permanent? Um, in a very impermanent world, that's a very well, interesting yeah, comment. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for a week and a half is permanent, <laughs> right? Um, it's really a matter of changing uh, where the at rest point of the muscles in the face are. Mm -hmm. um, wherever your, where your face looks like when you look in the mirror, wherever it's sitting, yes. you know, if everything's dropping a bit, that's at the at rest point. And when you were a little kid and it was higher, that's the at rest point. That's huh. where the brain says expand, contract, and at rest. So it's wherever it's sitting, that's the at rest point. I see. It's okay. almost like the metabolism of the face, I gather. Well, in kind a certain of. way, because you know, through things like exercise, certain kinds of nutrition, certain kinds of activities, including mental, you can change your set points of your me metabolism. What happens basically? So that's is just what came to mind. Yes, you influence the range that that set point is in. You know, say by exercising, uh, by just feeling joy, by I feeling love. Yeah. You're just within a range, <laughs> like. When I was in hair, we used to say there was bad hair days and good hair days. <laughs> yes. You know? So it's kind of the same with the face. Even on little kids, some days they'll look older and some days they'll look younger. Sure. So there's a range within where that arrest point is. Now, what do you actually do, AC, when you're working on somebody? What I do is I use herbs, as herbs on their face, and uh, all I really do in order to bring energy through is just merely center. You yourself center. I just center and ask that I be of service to whatever their higher self and their guiding forces would like for them. So that way I don't have to have an agenda or how it should be. Or I figured out I really wasn't bright enough to really figure out how people should be anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just whatever, whatever their own higher self wants for them. Uh -huh. And that I be a vehicle for assisting that. Well, this is interesting because most people like to get very busy with techniques and methodologies and the like, and here you're saying you're doing something as profound as making permanent, 
let's say, seriously long-term changes in the literal structure of a person's face, right. and uh, there's really no technique to speak of. Right. I have people use a certain maintenance program afterwards, mm -hmm. and using the same herbs that I use. And people, even years and years later, they'll even look younger than when we finish the sessions. Oh, God. You know? I have so to get some what's of those really permanent, <laughs> I don't really know exactly, <laughs> yes. And uh, so yeah. I don't really know what's permanent, actually, you know, yeah. at this point. I don't think we, uh, none of us do, really. It's almost like you're re-educating the brain and the mind. Well, I think uh, it's more of a, a truth. truth. I think yeah. it's really more of a truth within each individual. Mm -hmm. I think aging is kind of something that um, we kind of accept on a lot of different levels. There's a lot of words said back and forth to people about it. Yes. And most of it really isn't true. You know? So you're saying it's a program at a certain certain that could age. Be let go this of. is going to happen, and certain ages is going to happen, and that sort of thing. And that's really not necessary. Got it. You know? Yeah, I do. I do. I've met people like in their 60s and 70s who have totally youthful bodies. Yeah. You know? Uh huh. They just didn't buy that. They just didn't buy the program. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Just didn't buy in. Right. I feel like one of the most important points of this of what my experience has been with you that I'd love to convey is that you could say separate and apart from the uh, beauty benefit mm -hmm. is that when you were with me today I was experiencing a tremendous and very deep sense of peace unlike the peace I have experienced very often and it was a very familiar sensation. Mm -hmm. It was a very comfortable sensation. And your hot hands <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> brought me deep mm -hmm. very quickly. Uh -huh. And uh, so much so, I really didn't want to talk. I didn't really want to do anything but abide and dwell in that state. And uh, yeah. I think that's probably a very critically important mm -hmm. part of what you're doing with people. Well, I really Could feel that, that I really feel that that energy that you experience, that peaceful energy, is a place where what we perceive as magic really happens. Yeah. All kinds of things are possible. All kinds of amazing things are possible at that at that place. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I saw this over change is possible. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. On every kind of level. I, s I saw this over and over and over again when I was working with people, but I didn't really have the words for it. And then I saw a book by Deepak Chopra about healing. You know, it was just little statements. Mm -hmm. And one of those statements was, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but when one is in the energy of peace, all things are possible without effort. Mm. You know? Oh, yeah. And you kind of felt yeah. that. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did. In fact, meeting you, I have to say, has been kind of revolutionary from my usual way of looking at the world, which is to uh, <laughs> Thank you. do something fast. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm working on a book called Creating a Better World Quickly. <laughs> and uh, today, after this, I feel like uh, I have to say creating a better world moderately. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Great. It's just you sort of took a little of the rush out of it. It's right. You've got a very peaceful demeanor yourself, mm -hmm. and um, I think people respond to that first. You know, when people have seen the yeah. uh, videotape of some of the people that I've worked on, yes, they'll notice not only has their face changed, but their whole sense of being you know, is reflected in their eyes and their stance in their body and all yep. that sort of thing. Yep. You know? That's right. That's yeah. right. In fact, you were telling me earlier, and it should be noted that the second half of this show, folks, is going to be a videotape from AC Diamond's work that you will be able to see several of the people that he's worked on before and after. It's very graphic. There is no mistake about it, about what it is that's going on and happening under AC's hands. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. you will certainly want to find out for yourself about how you could partake mm -hmm. of such uh, an exquisite event. Yeah, so you were saying. Well, um, you actually had mentioned to me earlier that you began with dealing with uh, not facelifts, but breast lifts. Right. Uh-huh. What I found 
that really kind of introduced me into healing. It sounds kind of strange, I guess, but it's... No, um, it sounds like the using the greatest, one of the greatest forces of the world, vanity. <laughs> <laughs> what I found... It's a great advantage. <laughs> <laughs> right. What I found is that um, women's breasts contain a whole lot of energy. A whole lot of energy about how they feel about themselves. Self-image. How they went through puberty, what they feel the value of the feminine energy is. Yeah. All kinds of things. So there's all kinds of interesting things that happen through that. And so that really is what kind of got me into healing. It was all kind of new. I knew that there was a possibility to change faces and different body parts and that sort of thing. But where I saw the greatest amount of healing in the beginning was really through uh, doing breast work. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. it's really so true that our bodies reflect our consciousness and our way of feeling about ourselves. Yeah. So naturally, I mean, if we were women, we would be identified with our breasts as part of our femininity, our sexuality, our entire sense of self. Well, so I if think so, one anyway. can do something about that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, the idea of plastic surgery and all of this has nothing to do with holistic health. <laughs> but uh, right, right. but the, one can understand the mindset behind it. It's to look better and feel better. Right, exactly. That's understandable. Yeah. To do it naturally is something that we are always interested in. Yeah, more than taking people to look like they had plastic surgery, you know, to really pulled or that sort of thing. Yes. They just look like a younger version of themselves. That's generally what happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nobody's going to say, uh, nobody's not going to, you know, the n people are going to still recognize them. <laughs> sure. <laughs> exactly. Know? Exactly. That sort of thing. But well, it was so younger. great to see uh, the faces of the people that, some of the people of the hundreds and hundreds that you have worked on over the years uh, because they were lit from within. Right. Very Quite true. Quite literally. Yeah. It was kind of interesting. I had a previous tape to this one. And uh, there was a whole group of people in uh, Scottsdale that saw this tape. And what they were most interested in is not necessarily their faces changing, they, although they could see it in the tape. Yes. They all wanted to have that look in their eyes that they saw people have. I thought that was really interesting. You bet. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs> what we're all longing for. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. We're really doing beautiful work. Well, thank really you, Mitchell. I really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. very pleased to have experienced it directly myself. And I see, I can just feel what you're doing out there. Right. And I'm really very pleased to know. Well, I'm glad we had the opportunity to work together. Me too. Me too. Right. Do you have a phone number or anything that you were, email address that you would well, like I to? Well, I have an uh, email address. I, okay. I don't. My website isn't quite up yet. Okay. But I have an email address. When you get it, you'll let me know, and I'll I let you know. I definitely will. Know. Yeah. It's a diamond at primenet dot com, and no capitals in it. A diamond at primenet primenet dot com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's the prim primary mode of communication these days. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Besides television. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, uh, so, well, yeah. great. I really want to thank you again for meeting with me today and well, thank you doing all that we did yeah, and being much. on the show. Absolutely. So if you all will stay tuned for the second half of this show, you will see exactly what AC is up to. And 